Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop, where we bring you the inside snoop on boats. I'm your host, Clint Johnson, and uh, what we're gonna see today is a Sabre 38 Mark I sailing sloop. If any of you on the channel uh, are not sailors, you don't know what a sloop is, that just basically means that you just have that front sail right there, and then off the mast there you have a mainsail so you have two sails that's it there are other configurations but that's not why we're here today we're here to take a look at these really cool um, Sabre 38s and specifically to get you on the inside so you can see all the woodwork and see the layout of them These are really good sized, well-built boats. These Sabres are known for that. I'm not gonna mention any other boats, but some have a lot thinner hulls, um, but these Sabres, they, they were really, really, really built well. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm gonna hop on board and uh, I'm gonna take you on a quick spin around the outside, then into the cockpit, where uh, at that point, you know, we'll take a look, quick look around there, but really, because this uh, channel is really focused on uh, getting on the inside of boats so you can get a better look. Um, what we got here is we have a, uh, a in-mass furling mainsail. So that, uh, that mainsail, she uh, furls up inside the mast, you can see, Right there, she's all coiled up. A lot of advantages, but like with anything, there are disadvantages to that as well. If there's any uh, sailboat racers here, they'd probably kill me for saying, uh, saying that, but if you're a cruiser, they can be really nice. We got a uh, roller furling Genoa here at the front. Like I said earlier, this boat is a sloop, so she only has two sails. Specific boat has a couple anchors. Be able to pull in that uh, those anchors uh, with electric windlass there. That's always nice, so you don't have to do it manually. Give you a shot of the boat here, just from uh, the bow. You know, there's a lot of boats that they don't come with these right now. With these. Uh, cowling vents with the dorade box down below and uh, if your boat doesn't have it um, they are nice they don't take any power they scoop in the wind but even if water goes into them they end up collecting in that box and draining out these little holes instead of down into your boat um, they're neat the, they're low maintenance they're great for keeping constant circulation in your boat uh, without the need for electrical power or anything like that Let's just uh, hop on in here. This specific boat, I, I mean, I know that they all come with it, but this table's been, here in the co cockpit table's been taken pretty pretty decent care of. You know, I'm not saying it's perfect or anything like that, but uh, you know, she shines and she's beautiful. Um, big wheel on this boat, which is nice. And a good area back here that you could sit This boat does have a GPS unit that does attach in that mounting bracket. And uh, you got your compass right there. And everything else is speed of the engine right there and forward reverse, whatever you want. We do have a few other instruments on this specific boat. Right up here, we have depth and speed. There is actually here some really good sized storage in these boats.
and obviously there's a lot of equipment that's needed for this boat in here but it even goes deeper than what it looks because if you imagine taking all of that equipment out which is, which is nice plenty of storage alrighty guys about the moment you're waiting for is uh, to get on in this boat and take a look around is sponsored by Tupperware rep Sailor Jen. Tupperware truly is the ultimate galley wear for your boat, and it comes with a great warranty to boot. They are the ultimate source of high quality, lightweight, low rattle utensils, dishes, and cups for your boat or home. Furthermore, their unbeatable food storage containers are the only food storage devices approved for use by the U.S. military when they move military households. Don't have heavy and noisy galley wear on your boat and go high quality when trying to keep pesky bugs and moisture out of your food, especially on your boat. Go to sailorjitten.com today, check out all of their offerings and order up your new galley wear today. Email any questions to tupperware at sailorjen.com. Thank you and remember that your order helps out this channel. Alrighty, here we are. Down in the salon. Pretty good size. A lot of storage on this boat. A lot of drawers, cabinets. Good size galley. Double stainless steel sinks. Some storage over there. You got your propane stove and oven on a gimbal, so it should swing. If you're out in a heavy sea, or even just a moderate sea, I guess. Back here, you got a deep cooler and a refrigeration area. But what I mean about storage on these boats is this whole thing has storage and this is one of three it's like just a big long continuous storage area and then you still have some more storage above really nice and kind of a little pet peeve of mine is i just love that you have a place for your garbage right there. A lot of boats don't have that, but I really, I really, really like that. Got a really nice set of stairs, good quality wood. If you lift that up, you get to the engine compartment. And, uh, you know, if you go out and you take a look at listings for these boats, or, you know, if at the time you're watching this video, you, you look at the listing, uh, for the for this specific boat you will see engine pictures and stuff like that well, once again we don't get into that in on this channel but back here um this boat specifically comes with a whole bunch of extra sets of sails which is always nice but as you can see it's a really big starboard aft quarter berth and it one person could easily lay in there and just be living like a king or queen but really two people could uh sleep and that aft quarter berth, um, it, I mean, it's huge. And it might be hard to tell even with video, but it's large. Got a good size nav station with a lot of leg room. Some of them are a little bit cramped, not this one. Um, you have your electrical control panel. Um, trip distances, you got your radio, playing your tunes, you got your VHF for communicating, you even have, you got your storage for all your navigation charts and everything like that, all the tools involved in that, a little extra storage. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to show the salon here, and I'm actually going to cut the video for just a quick second. I'm going to put that table down because it's huge. And there you guys go with uh, 
half the table up and then right here this is how it looks when it's all the way so there you go like i said no cheap chintzy table here i mean literally you could have people all the way around it on both sides huge amount of workroom eating room and then it just stows right back up nice and clean um which is really nice uh part of the design of this boat behind that you have some really nice wood bookshelves and then of course you have your clock and then you have your barometer i love these barometers um to me being able to see if the weather is going to be a change it, you know you can look at all the uh online forecasts all day long but uh they really um are pretty darn accurate so well, let me get this table put away and even further now that the tables are up I wanted to show that if you flip the cushion up there's a part right down here that flips out and then the cushion slides out so that you have a huge almost basic kind of twin size berth and bed there as well so uh, the layout in here and how you can just arrange it is really, really and cool. if we're showing off all the things that can be done in the salon and all its features I pulled down the backs of the couches there, or the settees, and just wanted to show you all this additional storage that uh, is in this boat. So it just doesn't end with the drawers and cabinets. Ton of storage outboard, and additionally, same thing with the starboard side. You know, of course, I can open up. And grab the locks cabinets really deep 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 cabinets same thing should go with the doors good size good amount of storage and that's on both sides and i guess we move on forward here in the boat now another really highly desirable thing that a lot of people want on their sailboat is they want their mast to go all the way through and connect and bolt down to the keel of their boat it's called a keel stepped mast versus uh, your deck stepped um, both have advantages disadvantages um, I won't get into that here but uh, for many people that is a very high, highly desirable thing for strength and stuff like that all right as we move up forward here once more we've got a door here Gives you isolation in the forward V-berth, your main sleeping area, but large, large for a boat, hanging locker. Close this door real quick. And then we have our main head. One thing I want you to notice is how much room, for those of you that have looked at a lot of sailboats, how much room this head has, how deep it is. I hope that really kind of shows up on the video. Um, additionally, it has all of this storage. Um, you can see all the drawers, a sitting area where you can sit down while getting ready. Um, and while I'm at it, since I just noticed here, on this boat, here on the port side, you have access to your chain plates where you can see them and inspect them. And you're looking at these chain plates, at least here, below inside, I mean, they they look just about spotless, really no corrosion, anything. That's a really nice feature. Uh, I talked about that a little bit on another boat, a Gemini 105 MC Catamaran, and the ability to just easily, without having to pull off wood or trim or anything, to inspect your chain plates, which are connected to the rigging, which holds your mast up, that's a big deal. And uh, it's a nice feature when you can inspect it that easy. Huge amount of storage in here. I mean, <laughs> that that's massive. Um, that goes literally to the elbow, my elbow. And for most boats of this size, um, I'll tell you right now, I have a Tiana 42 sailboat, huge 30,000 pound beast. This is way better storage than my 42 foot Tiana which is a much bigger boat than this. Um, the storage in here is excellent. Got your normal marine head. 
Now you got me kind of poking around. Mirror, light, vent, couple of ports, get good airflow, important. All right, let's head on up to the right. V-Bird. As I swing around here, this is a second door. I mean, there's a door here, there's a door here, basically, so you could enter the head from the V-Birth without having to go out into the main salon. And, um, but I'm just gonna close that and come right back around here. Got an area here we can lay stuff, more cupboards, cabinets, storage there, and then a bunch of really, really, really deep drawers for storage. This boat is made to go longer distances. This isn't just any mere coastal cruiser. Um, she's made so you could, you know, really take off. Of course you could coastal cruise, but look at this storage, guys. You know, it's a little dark under here, underneath the V-berth, and that does lift out right here so that you can access all of this easier, but large drawers, deep drawers, lots of storage. More storage up here on these shelves on both sides. Beautiful wood. She's just done a really good job taking care of this boat. Got a couple of port hatches so you could get fresh air. This one I'll kind of pop open so you can see that they do open. And a very, very large hatch up here, up forward. And like I say on every video, if you're out at anchor and you're trying to sleep and you don't necessarily have air conditioning, you open that hatch at night and that's just gonna, as when you're on anchor, you're gonna turn right and dead bow into the wind. And that's gonna scoop all that wonderful, fresh, cool air and allow you to sleep. All righty, I'm gonna head back into the salon now, guys. All righty, guys. This basically concludes this episode of Boat Snoop, uh, where we've toured and took a look at a Sabre 38 Mark One, And um, I appreciate you coming on this little inside snoop on this boat with me. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button. And I hope uh, you'll come back and check out other boats on the channel. And, uh, you know, if you really like what you see and you want to support, you know, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, do you need a loan to buy your new boat? So many lenders. Who to choose? Are you getting the best rate? What if the boat I want is older than 20 years old? Not to worry, my friends. Boat Snoop has a solution. As a yacht broker, I have a boat loan broker and sponsor of this channel that many of my clients use to great satisfaction. I jokingly call him my boat lending leprechaun, holding the holy grail in his right hand while riding a unicorn over a rainbow into a pot of gold. You might ask, Clint, why do you call him that? Because this guy, he has been in the business for over 30 years and has connections to almost every major boat lender possible. Additionally, he has a good handful of lenders that can finance a boat 21 to 30 years old and lenders that do that are not that common finally he has one lending source that can finance boats over 30 years old that's right it could be possible to get a loan on an antique or classic boat to summarize using a boat loan broker such as this saves you time as you only have to fill out one application instead of many from a whole host of different lenders which is time consuming and utterly exhausting. As many of my clients have found, he'll bring to you the best financing deals he can find and that you can qualify for. If you're located in the United States, need a boat loan for $20,000 US dollars or more, and you are interested in connecting with my personally recommended boat lending leprechaun, just email me your name and best phone number at lender at boatsnoop.com. Upon receiving your email, I will personally introduce my lender and you via email. At that point, I just fade away and let the two of you get to work on financing your new boat.